How are you too? It's your boy Magnificent. I'm actually heading to a tin shop right now just to confirm a couple of questions I have to ensure that the calculations that I'm making on the application of the tint is accurate. It is a smart cling, meaning there's no water, it goes on dry, um, but uh, it is a little thicker than um, normal tint. So just uh, getting it from, a, I want to get some, you know, um, ideas from someone that does it all day long because people will either be applying it themselves or they might take it to a tent shop. So I'm going to throw the questions at him and uh, let you know what he says. They call you an uh, early adopter. I'm going to answer a couple of questions that some folks have had about, hey, it doesn't work. If your car loses power, you got bigger issues. We only said, well, what do you normally charge for two windows normally? Yeah, I mean, if you go in like a, like a creeper. <laughs> Look at that. Clear. Again. We make the streams louder. All right, guys, quick shout out to Diaz Window Tents. Polarizado and AZ. They gave me some good answers that uh, others wouldn't. So here's what uh, what happened. He's talking to the tent guy, asking him a slew of questions to clarify and to confirm. And it wasn't a special guy, but it's just a recommendation I got from my brother, someone he's taken some things to. The answers were similar to what I've gotten from other places. So, so first things first, the cool thing is I was fortunate. I talked to him initially, all in Spanish. And at first he didn't know what it was. When I told him what it was, he was like, oh, okay. He actually has experience installing this in houses. Now, the material is a little bit different. The reason why that's important is, I remember when I was in Denver, when I came up with the idea of helping people get access to this, I didn't get into this initially just to, you know, uh, be the tent guy or the, the smart tent guy. I was just looking to buy the thing. You know, I didn't have time. I was working 15 hours a day, literally. I just wanted to get it on my car. And I called, I, I kid you not, uh, 10 if not 12 uh, tent dealers. I looked online. They said they were number one. I mean, I ha I asked for recommendations. And here was my question. Hey, do you install smart tent? What's that? Um, you know, the tent that kind of goes dim, dark. What, huh? Oh, um, well, we're only going for houses. I said, well, I was desperate. I, I wanted the solution. I said, hey, would you be interested? You know, because I know it's a budding field. He goes, nope. Some said not only no, but no, you know, if, if you know what I mean. And um, I struck out. I struck out. I left mention with this guy, that guy, the biggest dealers there said no. So I started saying, hmm, this is where my research began. I said, it just blew me away that something this innovative, this needed, knowing my personal experience, was not something that these guys were jumping on. So the reason I say that is this guy actually dealt with it um, in the past. I haven't called other dealers. They have no idea what it was. And so they didn't even want to touch it. And so when I went to talk to him, I asked him a couple of questions. And here's what he said. Um, his biggest challenge is he thinks, because he's never seen the aut automotive application, he, he thought was, he, he thought that it might be too weak is what he said, that it would break easily if something small, but that's not the case uh, from what I understand. And I'm gonna just tell you what he said and I'll, whether it's true or not, <coughs> we'll break that down later. He also said that uh, he didn't think, uh, he think it was too thick. Again, he's never seen it on an automotive application. If this one is not, obviously it's being done, that uh, you can install it on uh, vehicles that are too slanted. And again, I think, you know, sometimes when you are do your profession so much and you ask questions that you're not a proficient in, you try the best you can to make up answers. Not that you want to, that you, again, you've never seen it before. So I know some of the things he was saying not true because I've seen things that have been installed in windows like so, and again, it worked out. And, and he was saying rolling it down might be a problem. It's not a problem. Um, I asked him, uh, you know, if he were to, to install this, how would he do it? And he said he'd have to take out the entire window. I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> I didn't say what to him, but you don't have to take out the entire window. He would have to remove the whole window, make sure it lays on. And I think he, he felt that way because the material does not uh, malleable, as malleable as normal tint. So again, it's not as, it doesn't move as much, right? But uh, so he thought maybe you better take it out so he can kind of maneuver himself around this and that. But um, this is smart cling, meaning it's, it's put on dry. You just kind of pop it onto it. And um, I, I will say this. So we went on and I asked him straight up at the end. I said, this is the key question. Because I, I went to him, not because I was wondering whether it would work, 
what I went to him to ask was, there are some of y'all who, you guys will do it yourself because it's very simple, but there are some folks who would order it and just have their tin guy do it. Now, this is a guy that's at a kind of like a flea market. And uh, so, you know, they get the good job done, you know, but it's not the quote unquote, the most professional, right? You know, it doesn't have a nice storefront, blah, 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 right? So the, 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 even if you got those guys that had nice storefronts, you'll find that they either will not do it because they don't know what they're doing, never heard of it, they don't want to take the liability. And that's why I'm saying we were fortunate with this guy because he's done the home application. He said to the question, how much would you charge me to install two of these on my front windows? Guess the price. All right. He said he would charge me 80 bucks. Come on now. I'm like, that's it. I'm thinking like 150. Oh, no. 80 bucks. And I said, well, what do you normally charge for two windows normally? He goes, well, I'm 50 bucks an hour. Now, I was watching him prior to even uh, engaging him, and this guy, he does a good job. Like, again, I've seen a lot of tin guys, and he does his stuff well. So this isn't some, because he's some kind of backhand and, you know, second class. He does his stuff well. So he's that good, but he's done it before, and so it wouldn't be that difficult for someone to order this and get their tin guy to install it. Um, like I said, the hardest thing, if it was considered hard, would be having to just route the wires to it. And so all your tin guy would honestly do so you can avoid the liability would be route the wires through and then you would connect it where you want now it would be a guy and someone who knows what they're doing to go above and beyond to route the wires to exact location where you want your dimmer or your switch so just educating your expectations um initially this is one of those products where you are um they call you an early adopter someone who before it becomes um, common knowledge, you know, the masses see it. You're one of those folks that you go do it beforehand. So early on, you know, you're gonna cut it to size and just cling it. It isn't very difficult. So the next video, I'm actually gonna be showing me installing it on my vehicle. And um, you'll see the good, bad, and the ugly. I'm not gonna edit it. You know, I messed up. I'll tell you straight up, if it takes me 300 hours, it'll be 300 hours. If it takes me, it ain't gonna take that long, by the way. But if it takes me, uh, it should take me, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, more than likely when I say that, it's probably gonna give me like 30 because this is my first time doing it. I don't really deal with 10. I haven't done it much, I've seen it done. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be the first, you know, uh, patient zero, if you will. I so do, when they sent me this uh, window size that I asked for, they put the electrodes in the wrong side. They put it on the width side instead of the length side they put it up here which is imagine the window goes up this way these are supposed to go down here so i'm gonna have to redo these and to do so i have to get some materials um i'm gonna be leaving on business for a few days and so uh, just give me a second guys i'll probably be back in a week week and a half and so it'll take me uh i don't know a week week and a half and i'll get back on this uh while i'm gone the reason i'm telling you this i'm gonna be waiting on the materials i need which is the electrodes I need the paste and uh, this little um, silver or gold looking thing. I need that as well. And this is actually gonna be perfect. I'm gonna show you how you can, anyone can easily change where they put it. You know, so you don't have to only apply this to this specific application. If there's anything that you wanna change where it goes, when it comes to smart, smart tent in this sense, you can change it easily. So again, the gold thing, the paste, the wires and you just need a soldering wire to solder this to it and you're good. And then of course you get some tape, tape this through. That's all that is really. And voila. So that's it guys. Wait for the next video. I will knock it out. Again, I will not leave you stranded. I'm gonna make sure that this is the, the real deal. But based on all my calculations, there is no reason um, this should work. And I wanna answer a couple of questions that some folks have had about, hey, it doesn't work. 
uh, it, it sucks because you can't see outside when it's powered on. Like, uh, I don't think you understand how it works. So let me show you real quick. Here's what it's supposed to look like. So just to clarify how it works, this is the dark gray. You just have it plugged into electrodes. These are the electrodes. This side is the side that goes on the tent. It's the smart clean tech tech. I'll show you what that means, what that looks like. So actually this side is, it'll tell you. So I'm just gonna peel this off. Notice what happens. So you typically wanna make sure this is clean. Look at that. See how it just clings to it? Oops, came off. So check it out. See that? Clings to it. Now the reason that popped back off because there was so much force, but when that's all on there, it'll cling to it. That's a smart thing tech, so it goes on dry. But to clarify the question that someone was asking about it being powered off, so powered off, this is just a testing. So powered off, for example, it's dark, right? It's dark, powered off. So I'm gonna cover this. So this is the film. I'm gonna take this off so you can kind of get a better idea. Right now, you can see clear. So Zach, you come over here. Would you go and hold this for us here? This is a dark gray, as you we were saying. Powered off, it's dark. So people were saying, well, it'll suck because if you lose power, then you have no visibility. Well, if, if your car loses power, you got bigger issues. The only reason it should lose power is if you turn it off. It's no different than saying, hey, AC is a great feature, but it sucks if you lose power. Well. Obviously, I mean, if your car shuts down, you're in big trouble. I mean, you got bigger electrical issues because all this is doing is powering to one of the outlets or one of the circuits that are already supposed to be powered anyway. So off, you've got tint. And here's what on looks like. So go ahead and come closer, Zeka. So come closer so you can see. So, I mean, look at that. The good glare, you can't see anything. You can't even see through the thing at all. I mean, not at all, barely. I mean, if you go in like a, like a creeper, <laughs> you want like a creeper you could see it somewhere but you know you can't see that but here it is on bam you see that go and get a little closer all right let's try again off all right go and click the button when i say click go ahead there it is so you can see through it's the sun's glaring a little bit so it's a little challenging um go ahead again off Right there, see? Off. Go ahead and do it on. Yep. Off. So when it's on, you can see clear. So go ahead and open the door. Sign, open the door and keep this held. All right, so Zeka, you're gonna turn it on so we can kind of just gauge what it would look like if it was on. So give me a second here. Um, we have to can you help us apply this film here so we can see it? Now, keep in mind, the protective film is still on there. Let me turn this off real quick. So keep in mind, the protective film is still on. So go ahead, Zeka. Look at that, completely clear. You can see. Now again, of course, you got the fogginess because of the film, but it's clear, guys. Take the fog off, take the little bit of the film off here and press it against the glass. Look at that. Hit it again, Zeka. Look at that. All right, go ahead and press it. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Go ahead and press it against the glass. Look at that, clear. Again? So, I mean, you can see through perfectly. Now, that's just with the on and off switch. With the dimmer, it's even more of a no-brainer. It just makes sense. So, the dimmer, you'll be able to decide how much of it is on and what's off. So, guys, that's it. Hope it was helpful, just a sign of things to come. I'm satisfied the itch of some folks getting more information. All more importantly, gave you an update what's happening. I'll be talking to you soon, give you a further update when I do what I said I do. Get the install done. Magnificent, signing out.